decade ago, Lancaster City was a very different place than it is today. On the brink of major revitalization that changed the city forever, Lancaster would soon receive state grants through the program City Revitalization and Improvement Zone that would improve the business district downtown. With help from organizations like the Lancaster City Alliance and the Downtown Investment District Authority, Lancaster utilized these funds to recreate the downtown. This revitalization, however, would not have had as strong of an impact without one major part of downtown Lancaster, the arts economy. Dozens of art galleries, theaters, and businesses devoted to the arts can be found in the city. Like the Fulton Opera House created in 1852, featuring a variety of captivating performances for over a century, it attracts people from all over springing life from Lancaster City. Flying in, downtown features various influential art galleries and museums inspiring creativity. These include places such as Christine, David Gallery, City Folk Gallery, Freeman Stoltzfus Gallery, DeMuth Museum, and Lancaster Museum of Art. Lancaster City uses art to improve streets and neighborhoods as public art has become a vital part of downtown's development. Lancaster's Office of Public Art has been working to redevelop places like the Lancaster Square across from Vince Park. The city plans to make changes to the square, which includes Holiday Inn Lancaster, 101NQ, and the Garage and Library Complex planned on the square's east side. Lancaster City's public art manager, Joanna Davis, assures that the square has a lot of opportunities for public art. Davis and the board have also been working on renovating Culleton Park in southwest Lancaster. Additionally, the West Lancaster Jewels, another community group, is planning to create Lancaster City's first artful intersection, a temporary mural that will be on the road surface at the intersection of Crystal and First Streets. The City of Lancaster started a public art advisory board with the purpose of making public art a central part of the city. They do this by creating a centralized resource for public art in Lancaster, developing opportunities for a variety of public art projects, identifying public art funding sources, implementing national public art practices that will work locally, creating a greater appreciation of the value of public art, and creating a welcoming space for local and regional artists who work in the field of public art. The Public Art Advisory Board has described public art as participatory, temporary, connecting, creates conversation, integrates design, storytelling, and collaborative. The Public Art Manager of Lancaster, Joanna Davis Seedorf, calls for the art to be accessible to everyone and representative of the community. Last year, Lancaster earned national recognition for its public art program as a mural won a spot in the top 50 public art pieces in America. The mural is found on the side of Water Street Rescue Mission and displays paintings of Water Street residents. Underneath the portrait, the residents filled in the sentence, the neighborhood is. The owner of the oldest commercial art gallery in Lancaster City, Joyce Heberlein, mentions. All different types of galleries. There's co-op galleries, cooperative galleries. Um, there are myself, I don't put any of my own work on the wall, mm -hmm. so I'm strictly a commercial representing the artist that I feel most. Uh, passionate about, mm -hmm. and then there's uh, uh, galleries who represent their own work. Yeah, um, there's a lot of different types of galleries. Now, I I personally believe you need it all to make a good sustainable scene. Blanks are so successful in its renaissance that the prices to live or rent an apartment. Yeah, you know the Keppel Building used to be art studios. There, there were artists sharing rooms up there very inexpensively. The running water came from the roof when it rained. You know, it was that kind of a thing. But then when the Renaissance started, somebody had the idea, oh, we can make more money. Yeah. And the arts were kicked out. Well, guess where some of them went? Columbia. Because you can't find cheap studio space anymore in the city. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, and if we're not careful, it's going to become like a Chelsea. Lancaster City hosts a plethora of diverse celebrations of the arts and cultures. In the last couple of years, Lancaster has hosted an international short film festival, an Indian arts gala, short story slams, Broadway level shows, just to name a few. In short, Lancaster City has been revitalized by the arts. Since 1998, with the teamwork of free galleries fighting to connect a community through art, downtown has been reborn into a lively place, thriving and on the rise.
For a century, the city has been presenting and encouraging art and has overall reinvented itself, making it more vital in today's society. More cities deserve the same opportunity as the robust downtown Lancaster and can work towards that success by embracing and encouraging the arts.